everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a beauty haul video for you. I've been very naughty this week and spent a lot of money, but I don't do it very often, so it's okay. So I'm going to run through everything and show you what I've bought. There is quite a lot. Um, also, you might notice that I'm in a little bit of a different setting today. Um, I'm filming in my bedroom because it's just really nice and warm and sunny, and I just thought it would be a nice change. So let's just go right ahead and I will show you what I've got. So first of all I hit up Boots and I went to the number 7 stand first and um, I was fancying some new blushes and I saw these ones which are the Pop and Glow Cream Blushes which I got this one in, I'm not sure what, oh shade uh, Rose Blossom and it looks just like this. Now I swatched this one and the thing that made me convince, the thing that made me buy it is that, I'll show you a swatch here. You pop it on and it applies as a cream and then you blend it in and it turns just into a powder. So I've been using this all this week and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And um, it's so nice not having to use brushes with them as well. And then similar to that I got the Instant Radiance Highlighter which again just looks like this. I was a bit annoyed because when I picked this one up I didn't realise it was actually all smushed. Um, this one is just a really nice subtle highlight which I do only have my Topshop highlighters, which I've used in my previous um, makeup tutorial video. So I really fancied a change and this one's a little bit different to those ones. And then with number seven at the moment, I'm not sure how long this offer is running for, but when you buy any two makeup items, you get a free gift, which is worth however much, I'm not sure. But it comes just in a little box like this. And inside that, I got uh, this little sample of the Skin Illuminator Radiance Boosting Beauty Fluid. I've used this once already and it's quite glittery but it does do what it says um, and it does add a nice um, like finish to the skin and nice glow. And then also in there is this eyeshadow which I don't know what colour it actually is because it has nothing on the back and it looks just like this. I have tried this and I'm not a massive fan of that but when something's free I really don't care. And the other thing was this High Shine Lip Crayon. Again, I've not tried this one, but I thought the colour looks really pretty in that one. It's just a nice kind of uh, sheer pink, that one. And also, the number seven Exceptional Definition Mascara, which looks just like this. It's kind of got um, longer bristles on the top and short ones at the bottom, which makes me think it'll be really good for bottom lashes. And after that, now this is a weird one. I wanted one of these Revlon perfume polishes ever since I saw them in some magazine. Oh my lord, what a situation I had with this. If you follow me on Twitter, you will know exactly what I mean. The smell of this, right, okay, let me start from the beginning. If you smell it in its pot, it just smells like nail varnish. Don't do that, it's really strong. The smell comes when you've got it on your nails. I put this on as I was doing my makeup ready to go to work. By the time I got to work, all I could smell was this fresh linen smell that actually smelt like bathroom cleaner and it was making me feel sick and I was panicking. I just wanted it off my nails. The colour I didn't particularly love, so... I'm, I'm let down by you. I am. The next thing is a lipstick and it is this one by L'Oreal and it is the Collection Privé by... <laughs> Let's start again. The next thing I got was a lipstick and I've had a look at this one a couple of times. I seem to be a bit addicted to L'Oreal um, lipsticks at the moment but this one is the Juliana's Nude Lipstick and it looks just like this one. Some people might really hate these lipsticks for the smell because they're quite waxy but they smell how lipsticks used to smell and I kind of like it, it kind of reminds me of like my mum and my grandma. Um, but this one is supposed to be a new but it has a little bit more of a pinky tinge to it. Um, I thought this would be perfect for when I'm having quite a smoky eye and I want a touch of colour to my lips but not too much because I really don't like actual nudes so I thought this would be a really good solution. I've tried this one a couple of times and it does last really well actually and it is quite sheer and has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. So far loving that one. Then this next one was a repurchase. This is the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara 
and I'll show you what the wand looks like on this one. It has very, very short uh, bristles and they're like plastic bristles. With this, I find it really easy to just really wiggle it in there and it gives really good length um, but keeps them really separated so they don't get clumpy. The nice thing about this one is I changed this mascara and one of the girls at work actually noticed straight away, so good one, good one, thank you. And then the last thing that I got from Boots is something that I've been trying to hunt down for a while, but every time I looked it was sold out. Um, I, there's a couple of different texturising sprays that have been brought out um, by higher end companies at the moment, but I just really can't afford to be spending that on a texturising spray, and especially if I don't know if I'm going to like it. So i would heard a lot about um, this Charles Worthington um, texturising spray, it's the Volume and Bounce one. Again with this one, I've only tried it once, I'm not too sure. I think I sprayed in a little bit too much at the time and it did add some really good texture and really good hold. Um, so I'll report back on this one when I've not put in as much in it but so far I'm not not too sure on my, um, my overall thoughts on this one. Then that's everything for Boots. Then I went to M&S to, again, for another repurchase. This one is um, the Nukes Revenue Meal Lip Balm, and this one is £9.50. I'm sorry, I will put links to all of the items down below and their prices, because I've just realised I've not told you any of the prices. Now, I've been um, suffering with, um, like, a really cracked lip just at the side for ages, um, and my normal uh, Body Shop lip balm just was not getting rid of it. And also, because it's quite shiny, it just looks like I had, like, some saliva at the side of my mouth which is just not a good look um, so I have had this uh, lip balm in the past I thought what the heck I'm just gonna buy it again it is expensive but the last time I bought it it lasted me about 11 months and that was using it every single night so kind of when you think cost per use it really isn't too bad um, so it comes just in a little pot like this and it is a matte finish this one so if you want to wear it off the top of a lipstick or something like that it doesn't show up and has a really nice um, honey smell to this one so I'm really glad that I re-bought that and it has fixed um, my sore chapped lips as well so woohoo! Then I went to Lush. I needed to get another lip scrub um, because my other one, my bubblegum one, had gone out of date so I re-bought this one which is the popcorn lip scrub and it looks just like this and as the name would suggest it smells a popcorn, what a surprise. And um, with this and this, I find when I start using this again after a long time, when I wake up in the morning, there's a lot of dead skin on my lips, so I just need this to get that off there. I am really not a fan of eating these lip scrubs afterwards. Personally, I think it's pretty disgusting to lick all of your dead lip skin off and put it in your mouth, but <sighs> each to their own. And then obviously while I was in Lush, I couldn't leave without getting a Lush bath bomb so I picked up this one which is the twilight bath ballistic and um, this one I've had it in the past actually I didn't even realize that I had it turns the back a beautiful um purple shade it looks just like this it smells it smells so good and um, I looked this one up and it is um, like a lavender scent which I really don't like lavender so it must have something else in there sorry I'm rustling and um, something else in there that makes it not it makes it more appealing to me um, and it's supposed to help you have a really good night's sleep so that's one that I'll be using in uh, a day or two. Then this next one is a very naughty naughty purchase. I ordered this one online on Beauty Bay and um, I was really um, happy with their service actually it came within two days because this palette you don't seem to be able to buy it in stores anywhere even though I found um, uh, like stands for this brand they don't seem to stock this palette um, and it is okay okay just it's beautiful just prepare yourself it is the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and are you ready it looks just like this oh my this Okay, the reason why I'm smelling it is because, as the name would suggest, it smells of chocolate. Oh, just, mmm, just, okay, okay, let's come back to reality. 
this I, d I really did want a new palette um but i find with a lot of my palettes that i don't use a lot of the shades and tend to stick to the same ones so i really wanted a palette where i'd use a lot more of the shades and because i'm more leaning towards browns at the moment i thought that this one would be a good choice now it was expensive it was uh 42 pounds but it has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 shades in it, which is more than the Naked palette. And the I've tried this this morning. I've got uh, the shade Salted Caramel just on my eyes and then the shade Semi Sweet just underneath. Um, and I was really, really surprised how good the pigment was. I hardly needed any on my brush whatsoever. And it oh it just glided on like a dream and then the smell of this just wafting beneath me was just like oh yes I'm so happy okay that's enough of that one let's let's keep it going the next thing is some more nail polishes these ones are not so much of a fail these polishes are a new launch from model zone which is to enhance a tan that you have um, and it's these two shades here and this orangey one is called beach bag and this pinky one is called shades shades is what i've got just on my nails today it's almost like like a highlighter pen but but not like it doesn't look garish and it's oh I love it it's so so pretty and um, models are just always seem to be able to bring out neon polishes that just don't look tacky or horrid and I just I just love them I got it on my toes as well but I ain't gonna show you with it and then the final thing that I bought is are these lip glosses from Tanya Burr which is she's a massive youtuber um, now these launched maybe a month or so ago on Philly Unique but I really just wanted to see these in person and they were released in Superdrug just a couple of days ago and I managed to get my hands on these two. The first one is the shade Aurora which is the shade that I've got on today and the smell of these are just amazing. I can't I can't work out what it is but it reminds me of being a child and some kind of sweets or something like that and then this one I've not tried just yet but it is called let's travel the world and it's a nice red but not too red and um, they are very sticky these like a lip gloss would be but I was really surprised actually how much of a good color payoff they have on them they're actually really tinted and um, so I'm probably going to use this red one in my next uh, makeup tutorial, so keep your eye out for that one. So, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, and if you got to the end of this video, just put me a comment and say, I got to the end. Woohoo! I will have another video coming up again midweek this week, but just now I need to rush off because I'm going to get two new tattoos done this afternoon. If you enjoyed this, please do subscribe. Bye!